Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Train robberies, heists, kicking ass and taking names. We'll be doing all that and more, but first, we got a couple of things on our plate, such as killing this bear. This is my arch nemesis. It's a legendary bear, over a thousand pounds. I don't know if you guys remember our trials and tribulations with this son of a bitch, but he's got a lot coming to him. Anyway, uh, we're going to do our best to kill him, but first, I'm going to ensure that we're not going to make the same mistakes we've made in the past. I've got two different shotguns, one pump action, one double barrel. I've got dual silver pistols, and we got slugs as well, but I'm going to make sure that we have plenty of dead eye. I mean plenty of dead eye because this son of a bitch is nothing to tussle with. I'm I'm really serious about that. He is dangerous. And he ain't exactly easy. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna heal up to. I'm gonna hedge every last one of my bets. Oh. Well, let's see, uh. Ah hell. We use potent health cure. Why not? This is zero hour after all. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, <laughs> we're gonna stay. You coming or not? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! I'm going straight after that son of a bitch. So before we made mistakes, but now we are not making any mistakes. No, sir. I'm, uh, I'm hoping he's still up here. If he's not, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't see him. Ironically, I do hear a train. Son of a bitch! All right, well, uh, I saw a question mark down there. We might be able to investigate and find some tracks that lead us back to his location. However, it is also possible that he is despawned. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, thank God. Broken sticks. <laughs> I got a way That's to what go. I'm talking about. Thank you, Noisy Cricket. Noisy Cricket, is, is that a reference to Men in Black? I mean, I appreciated that donation, but I appreciate your taste in movies even more. Why couldn't we have gotten that 21 Jump Street Men in Black crossover movie? God, that would have been perfect. Hollywood, what are you doing? We get Grown Ups too, but we don't get a sequel to 22 Jump Street. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's bear shit, all right. Okay, where are you? Now, this is one big son of a bitch. You can see those huge paw prints. Now, if we were tracking a deer or a fox, it'd be a hell of a lot harder to find it. Here he is. You see him? All right. I'm going to do a little bit of investigating. 
So this is the legendary bear. He's a uh, thousand pounds. He's got a big scar on his face. And he can give us some special pelts. We can take those to a trapper and make uh, some pretty sweet stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether we should be using the, the pump action, the double barrel. The double barrel's got some great damage, but we only have two shells. Mm. Just don't know about that. Yeah, we're back on the bear. We are, we're back on the bear. You guys remember this. How can you forget? We spent an awful long time trying to get this bastard. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch this to slugs. We're gonna do a one-two punch. We're gonna pump a couple slugs in him at, at range, and uh, then we're gonna move on to our pistols, use a little bit of dead eye. Oh, shit. show. That's his scar a hell of a lot bigger now. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe we just killed that son of a bitch. I thought he was going to kill us. Woo! Look at that scar on our back. God damn. Whoa, we got more than one scar. We got about three or four. Now he got us with one tooth. He got us with four big claws. I'm not talking about the individual claws. I'm talking about him raking his paw over us and digging his claw into our flesh. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, we now kind of look like Leonardo DiCaprio from The Revenant. We even got the beard going. Oh, shit. He got us in the front, too. Jesus. That is pretty badass. Hey, if we wanted to go pick up some ladies at the saloon, I think now is the time. Anyway, let's, uh, let's skin this son of a bitch. Now, he's too big for our horse, because he's over a thousand pounds. We can't take his body with us. Even though this... <laughs> should probably feed our camp for a month. Oh, that is sick. Oh, my God. Hold on, look at this. Look at this face. It's like a beak. Oh, yeah, we took his teeth. We took his teeth. We took his claws. He doesn't have nothing but stumps now. This is a complete and utter humiliation on his part. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Now, the thing about legendary pelts is, uh, you know what? Give me a second. Uh, I'll just be a minute. You guys remember what that was like? Oh, God, I hated that thing. Um, I, I don't want to look bad here, but we spent two hours searching for him. We found him three times. We died every single time. Oh, my God. And I, I just figured out what our problem was. It wasn't the guns we had. We could have made it work. Well, having a shotgun or rifle is almost a necessity. In any case... You need full health. We did not have full health. We had maybe a quarter of a health bar probably every time. And I can always get away with that, even when I'm fighting wolves. But when you're fighting a legendary bear, you need something a little... A little more oomph-like. You understand? All right, boy. You gotta be able to wrestle with them, apparently. Yep. So like I was saying, these legendary pelts, they're extremely valuable. They're so valuable that you don't just sell them at a butcher. In fact, you can't sell them at a butcher. A butcher, for some reason, won't accept it. Uh, I would. If I was a butcher, if some person was dumb enough to try and unload a legendary pelt on me. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, we're gonna take this to a trapper. Because they can keep it for you. But they don't degrade in quality over time. Most pelts, they rot. Uh, 
as they rot, they're, you know, gonna lower in condition to perfect and good to poor to yeah, nothing, I would assume. I, I haven't let anything rot that long. But, uh, not the legendaries, because they are very important, and you can use them for crafting very special items. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can make a sweet hat from this thing. Uh, you know what? You could probably make a hat from, uh, from a perfect bear pelt. You don't really need a legendary bear pelt for that. Uh, you can make talismans from some of these guys. I know one of the talismans, uh, it, it gives you uh, a permanent increase in the chance that you'll get a, a perfect pelt when you're hunting. And that's really valuable. Thank you, laughing man. Hey, I like your avatar. Some of you guys have such good taste. But now that just, that sounded less like a compliment on Laughing Man and more like just a diss on the rest of you. <laughs> no, you all got good taste. You like westerns, you know what, that's enough for me. Man, what I, would, what I wouldn't give if we could have just like a western movie night. So I'm a huge fan of Sergio Leone yeah. and Ennio Morricone. Uh, their direction in music and filmmaking is just such a perfect combination, such an incredible marriage. Um, the Dollars Trilogy are some of my favorite movies ever, and they've seriously inspired modern cinema. Everything that you watch today is, well, not everything, that, that's, that's, uh, that's hyperbole, but most things that you watch have heavily been inspired by uh, Sergio Leone. Regardless, they are incredible films, and I wish that we could just, like, have a movie night and watch all three of them back to back. But I can't live stream those on YouTube because that's illegal. And I can't invite all of you over to my house because that's probably not a great idea either. So, just take my recommendation, and if, if you can get a copy, uh, watch it. I don't know if they're on Netflix. I'm pretty sure they're on Amazon Prime if you have that. his match at last, huh? My congratulations. So, buying or selling? Well, neither. Not exactly sure how to store this legendary pelt here. Thank you for your help. Delivered right to your stable. Let's see what we can do with them. Okay, let's take a look at it. Legendary bear pelt, sixty dollars. Well, I don't really want to sell it. I want to use it for crafting. We could just craft right now if we wanted to, I guess. All right. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. So I'm not exactly sure what we can make with the legendary bear pelt. I think we can make this. But we're missing other pelts. That is, that is choice. To wear your arch nemesis like that. That would be great. That just, that kind of looks silly. I'm going to go with the bear hunter. Just as soon as we have the rest of the pelts, of course. Reinforced equipment is the best stuff that you can get in the game, by the way. It's better than what you can buy at, uh... A gunsmith's. Oh, that looks nice. That looks real nice. Weapons expert holster. Offhand holster. Hmm. Some of these are the tough choices. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna bring it, bring it back to camp with us, I guess. You need to sell it for crafting. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna take you guys at your word. Right, let's see. Ah! Did you did did you guys just did you just scam me? Do I really need to? Oh, okay, that makes sense. He can now use to make garments. It seems like a raw deal for him, but I mean it is a video game. So now we can use him to uh, make the other stuff, and we're paid for it as well. Wow! He's basically working for free. It's not like he charges a whole lot for his garments. Thank you for that. I, I, I thought that's how you did it, but I I didn't want to take any chances, so I appreciate you helping me out through that. All right, now we just need to get back to camp. So we'll go on over to Emerald Station, and we'll uh, make our way from there. Trains are the most effective way of fast traveling in Red Dead Redemption 2. 
can also fast travel from your camp. But you, once you can fast travel from your camp, it's the second upgrade that you make. The first upgrade is Dutch's tent. And the second upgrade is uh, Arthur Morgan's yeah. tent. That second upgrade is going to let you travel from your camp to any town in the game, but you can only travel one way from the camp. You can't travel back to the camp with the fast traveling system, which is fine. It makes sense. You're upgrading your, your camp. You're not upgrading, well, the, the town. Do you ever want to find something interesting to do when you're a little bored? Go after a fire. I don't see how you can ever be bored, though. There's always something happening. But, uh, yeah, yeah fires, fires are practically guaranteed. You're gonna have somebody that's gonna offer you a challenge. Maybe you're gonna find someone eating their wife. I mean, then, uh, twisted way. <laughs> like a cannibal. What's that? Easy, whoa! Is that a living there? Sometimes you can tell. They're legend, I mean perfect. Let's see if he's perfect. Nah, he's good. Never mind. Uh, eyes are failing, man. But we do need a legendary buck belt if we want to make some of the bare goods. Now, as far as I know, there's only one of each legendary animal, so uh, he uses all the parts of the bear, I guess. I mean, we, we, we cut his head off. Or at least we skinned his head, we skinned his body, we skinned his leg. And I think there's enough for a full outfit there. Come on, push. So once you hunt these legendary animals, that's it. Alright, let's get that ticket. And let's put our gun away, why not? Good to see you again, mister. Oh, thank goodness. Have yourself a nice trip. We're not riding this train. Don't get excited. There's still some things we have to do before we uh, start robbing the train. But that is our end game in this stream. And where are my manners? I haven't even welcomed you guys to the chat yet. Welcome, Angus. Welcome, Austin. I'm excited for this. Yesterday I saw. T Hold on. It scrolled past. I couldn't read it in time. Austin. I'm excited for this. Yesterday I saw Massive G take on a posse of 12 bounty hunters and get totally destroyed. I saw him steal a carriage, accidentally kill two of his horses and get killed. What will today bring? Well, okay, uh, I knew that I was destroyed by the, the 12 bounty hunters that were coming after me, but somehow I still thought that was going to be like a positive, like, boy, Massive, you know, you really got destroyed by those 12 bounty hunters, but you sure look good while you're doing it. That doesn't make any sense either. Well, we're off to a better start than we usually are. I mean, I, uh, I killed the legendary bear. We spent two hours in yeah. one of our earlier streams trying to kill it, but failing to do so. I don't need a waypoint for this. But... I'm sure we will fail spectacularly at some point in the near future. Hopefully it's not during the train, Huss. I'm going to try to be on my best behavior for that. You can make a lot of money with these guys. A lot of money. Especially when you're robbing stagecoaches. If you ever saw 310 to Yuma, you'll remember that the Ben Wade gang made quite a lot of money robbing stagecoaches. Actually, a lot of... A lot of outlaws in the Wild West made a lot of money robbing stagecoaches. Wells Fargo, their logo is actually a, a Wells Fargo stagecoach. They, they were big into that business Who goes there? back in the day. Man coming in. Hope you're gone. Made it to a million, Arthur. We're also going to be riding with John Marston this stream. Pretty excited about that. I like John. Hello, Arthur. Good kid. Well, Arthur doesn't like John, but I like John. Of course, Arthur doesn't know John like I know him. Hell, John was different back then. Maybe, maybe I'm the one that doesn't know John. Anyway, check this out. So, uh, Mr. Mrs. Morgan. Grimshaw coming to me? Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh. 
He'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Go have a rest. When are you going to get off your ass and do something? I'm pacing myself, Arthur. Bill Williamson, what a classic. He's just a stone's throw away from being Uncle 2.0. So I love Mrs. Grimshaw. She is great. She was just, I saw her barreling toward us. And I knew she was coming to talk to Arthur from the way she was walking. The animations in this game are so good. Everybody's got such a personality. Anyway, uh, check this out. This is pretty cool. So our hair is currently at level 7. This is as high as your hair can get without using hair tonics. But, uh, it can get to, it can get to level 10, and when it gets to level 10, it looks crazy. <laughs> you gotta use hair tonics to get there, but, uh, you okay? yeah, you're gonna look like, uh, basically gonna look like you're homeless once you get to level 10. There's not really much you can do for it. I think you can still use pomade. You can go to a barber and get your beard trimmed, but again, that's gonna shorten it. If you want to stay at level 10, <laughs> you're gonna look like, uh, Bill Williamson stopped caring about his appearance, and, well, Bill already doesn't care about his appearance. The pomade doesn't even really help us look better. Check this out. Hold on. I think he looks way... I want to trim his hair. I think he looks way better at this length. Or this length, even. That length, especially. But, I want to get to level 10. I, I, that's just a little too long, if you ask me. You can modify what you... <laughs> what you got. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, once we get to level 10, I'm just going to cut everything except the mustache. I'm just going to keep the mustache. Alright. If you want to make it really weird, you got this. <laughs> now it kind of looks like he could be uh, one of our former presidents. Alright. Enough about the hair. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Contribute anything recently to the camp funds? It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out round that way. Looking for a peace offer and his shit. I don't think Dutch actually likes anyone. I've been thinking about it. I don't think he likes Arthur. I don't think he likes, uh... I don't think he likes his woman. And I don't mean that he's evil or nothing like that. I, I just think that... Holy shit, look at our pump-action shotgun! Woo! We better clean that. It's not gonna last much longer in the condition it's currently in. I, I don't mean that uh, Dutch is an evil man. Nothing of the sort. I mean that, uh, I just think that he probably has a personality disorder. It, he's just in such a way where the experiences that he's been through in his life have, have damaged him to such a point where he, he can't really think straight anymore. He's just a, just a big bundle of impulses and, and concerns and that's all he is. In my opinion, I think, uh, I think he just doesn't have it in him to, to relax anymore or to give anything out to other people. Or to receive, for that matter. I'm gonna clean my pump back. It's, it's way too filthy. Before we go on our next mission, let's do a little bit of gun care. So I own guns in real life. I actually own two revolvers and one rifle, lever action. And you are best off cleaning them every three shooting sessions or every two. If you want to clean them every shooting session, that's fine, but at least every three, and I have never cleaned this pump action as long as we've had it. That's good. God, it looks so cool. Look at that. <laughs> All right, what about our pistols? You gotta maintain those individually. What would be really cool is if there was like a mini game where you took apart your revolver and you cleaned it that way. Because if you want to clean these in real life, you got to take them apart. And uh, another thing that I would like a lot is 
If you have a silver revolver like this, I actually have a revolver that looks exactly like this. It's a 45 long Colt. It's silver. It's engraved. It's got a blue steel trigger like this one does. And uh, it's got like a mahogany grip, something like that. Anyway, now, once you fire the gun, the very first time you fire the gun, it's, it starts degrading. Or as uh, gun collectors like to call it, it starts antiquing. And it would be nice if over the life of your pistol, eventually, it just it just took on this very unique sheen, you know? I'd like that. That'd be, a nice, that'd be a neat feature. I mean, they've already got so many details in the game that it's totally reasonable that they could have thrown something like that in. Nice. Alright, let's get back to what we were doing. So like I said, before we go after the train, we're just going to take care of a couple of missions first. Well, we'll get to it as soon as we can. We're going to go after some other robberies and such like that. Let's see who needs something in camp. Oh, shit, nobody needs anything in camp. We need to get to... You know what? Let's actually, uh... Let's see what Javier Escuela wants. So Javier, he is a good man. I like him. As far as the people in the camp go, I rank uh, Josea, Javier. Oh God, it's, it's kind of tough after that. Uh, well, I mean, you got Mrs. Grimshaw. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hey, uh, uh, all good here? There it is. He just said it. Ha okay, it, it's Hosea, Javier Escuela, uh, Lenny, Mrs. Grimshaw. Yeah. And, well, it just gets kind of dice from there. I, I like the, uh, the Indian fellow we got. He's a good man. Half African American, half Indian. I like him a lot. But, Bill Williamson, uh, even John Marston at this point. We, uh, we don't really know who John Marston is. His time with the Dutch Vanderlyn gang changed him greatly into the man that we saw in Red Dead Redemption. But that wasn't the man he was here. Regardless, we are going after uh, Javier. Javier's got a mission for us which involves... Well, he's a prison transport and we gotta break the man out of the prison transport before he gets to federal state. Because breaking somebody out of federal state is really not something our gang could take right now. It really isn't. That's why we're going in chapters. Your camp is actually going to build up. You're going to take on more people. I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't even seen half of the people in the trailers in-game yet through our playthroughs yep. because I haven't been speeding through the game as fast as I can. I've been trying to go in that thing. But, uh, I feel like this is going to start with any. Whoa! The horse needs a little bit of care. 1899. Man's horse! Man's livelihood. <laughs> this is a new horse too. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot about that. You really want to be careful the new horse because if you don't bond with it and you just start riding it hard, it's okay. It's gonna freak out like this. This horse is freaking out. It's okay. Wait. Uh. It's okay, boy. <laughs> I haven't had a female horse yet. It's okay. Uh, let's tend to its condition real quick. Ah, you're dirty. You're a dirty boy. All boys are dirty. It's axiomatic. Boys and dirty go hand in hand. It's axiomatic. And all boys are bad. Yes, quite bad. All boys, bad. It's axiomatic. Settle down there, pig man. I don't want getting weird in here. All right, let's feed him a little bit, and then we'll move on. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. So we're gonna get a big gunfight heading out ahead. Oh, shit, shoot totally you dead you. now. No, 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 I did not mean that. Well, look who's got a yellow belly. You know what? Forget it. Did he just call me a yellow belly? Ah! God, you know, I just can't let that go. I want to, but... 
Not exactly my choice now, is it? Holy oh, shit! On fire! God damn! Anybody around here? No. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, let's put pig mask on for a little bit. It makes me feel comfortable. Make me feel mad. It's supple and plump against my rosy skin. I didn't expect you wagging the light on fire. <laughs> hey, mister, help me. Really? I'm and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister. You're asking me for help? This guy doesn't sound very genuine. Of course, he's asking a man in a pig mask for help. That is something wrong with this guy. Come on, mister. It won't take long. Yeah, he sounds trustworthy, all right. No need for fancy talk, eh? Yeah. Raise your hands. Now! Oh, where are the balls? Where were the balls used to be? Holy shit, what a dumb son of a bitch. Look at me. Is this the man you try to rob? Do you rob a man who's literally wearing a pig skin for a face? It's not a mask. We actually, this, this was a pig. I want somebody thought it was a good idea to cut the face off the pig and wear it on your face. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like we got ourselves okay, a witness. Boy. Let's go. I'm just gonna try to get the hell out of here while we can. I can't see my face. Ah, fuck! God damn it! I just can't catch a break! This is a new horse, too. This is a bad experience for a new horse. Shit, sure, boy. All right, well, <laughs> with how things have been going, I don't necessarily feel like this prison break is going to go as smoothly as we hope it will. Whoa! Does anybody else's Arthur have tuberculosis? Jake, I think you might be playing the game wrong. I didn't know that Arthur could get tuberculosis. Well, bullshit. It's possible that you get tuberculosis if you don't wear warm enough clothing. I know once you get in cold weather, you gotta dress for the season. Similarly, if you uh, if you're in warm weather, you gotta wear warm clothes. Well, you you have to wear clothes that are not warm, but warm weather clothes. Otherwise. Well, I don't know exactly what happens, but I didn't want to find out. What's this place? Looks like some sort of an Indian reservation. Huh. Maybe it used to be. Cut at some point. Well, back on track, we're heading for Blackwater. Now, Blackwater is a place that we are currently wanted dead or alive yep. in. Yep. And it's yeah. extremely dangerous. I've tried to go there before. It's it's a bad idea. It's a real bad idea. We gotta get rid of that bounty somehow. The marshals there are just incredibly harsh. Are those marshals up there? Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, a man's fishing with his dog. Gotta be careful not to be seen. If we are, we're probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, those are long, man. Alright. Well, let's stay off the main roads. Javier is just up ahead. Get that camera. No. That is not Javier. Not getting any closer. We are wearing a pig mask. I hope that's gonna protect our identity. It's for a little while. But yeah, you might remember this. Blackwater is, of course, a place in Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, there's a spoiler regarding the map, and I don't really see how that's a spoiler. People are really pissed. Some game review site, uh, I think it was Polygon. Anyway, they let it slip that there was something with the map that hadn't been announced yet, but, I mean, there's Blackwater. Well, I'm not gonna say any more. I've already said too much. So, uh, man. Still, I didn't think that was a spoiler, personally. Should we have taken the mask off? How nah, many? 
I want to see a in the cutscene. Uniforms everywhere. Ashley, can I sleep? Is Sean? I'd no. rather do this in the daytime. I so. Nah, I can't sleep. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Long time, boy. That is a nice horse he's got. Kinda looks like milk chocolate Reese's Pieces. Milkshake. Oh, man, no way, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Javier shows you way better. Look at that thing. Great coloring. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. I feel a little self-conscious that I'm not wearing a hat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a hat on. That's better. Push up. Doesn't really match our outfit, though. So do people talk about horses like they talk about uh, cars back then? Oh, that's a nice horse you got, man. Those. Come on. Those uh, horseshoes Apparently, really make the a thing camp pop. Somewhere around here, where the bounty hunters meet transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Yeah, I've been thinking about dying my horse a different color. You know, I've had the, a white horse for so long, I kind of want to see what it'd be like to have a, like a gray horse or a black horse. Black horse? 
You can't dye a white horse black, it's gonna make it gray. There's no dye dark enough. What I really want is, you know that look when the, when the horseshoes spin on the bottom of the feet? That's what I want, spinning horseshoes. They make some sort of a system where the horses have like a, like two lanterns on hey, the side. Hey, they've pulled into shore. Many cranes. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. You're all right, boy. Mm, what a beautiful time of day. Now, what was his idea of what we'd do with these guys? Last one up. Rough him up a little bit. Question him. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. <gasps> okay. Crouch I ain't down, doing no side. dirty on them. Take out your knife. Stay here. Oh, how Javier said. We should do this quietly. Okay, don't cross until he's got their attention. Yeah, yeah. You're acting like I haven't murdered people and slit their throats before. I have. I'm a pig master, for God's sake. Still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You <laughs> take the one on the left. Very Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm I'll down, eat Mr. their skin. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Oh, you really Come take on, your time with them, don't you? I do, boy. Always, gentlemen. Cold I steel. Think you have it from here. Yeah, you know, I think Javier had the right idea. God, I hate bounty hunters. I mean, I'm okay with me bounty hunting, but if anybody else is bounty hunting me, that's when the double standards come in. Hey, that's a nice hat. Oh, yeah. Way better. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. I love that this mission is basically a tame version of what we were doing yesterday. We're just many serial killers. Ah, oh, shit! What the hell? Stay the hell back! So they knew we were here. Javier, you are on your own. Sir, I got some looting to do.
Dutch on the train house. I don't see Dutch. What the hell? I don't see. God damn, this guy's just a sponge. There we go. I don't see Dutch giving the tithing box. In fact, I don't see Dutch doing diddly squat. You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. 
See the bullet hole in our hat? It's kind of a nice touch. God, you gotta love Arthur. He's almost like the gang's father. Some people would say that's Dutch, but I would say those people are wrong. Dutch isn't really the backbone that the gang relies upon. That's Arthur. Arthur's doing all the work. What does Dutch do? Murders young women in Blackwater, apparently. That looks pretty good. It's uh, grits with a little pat of butter on top. The more I hear about what happened in Blackwater, the more I don't like it. Arthur Morgan doesn't really know what happened there. Nobody except the people there know what happened there. What the hell? Crime reported by who? Ah, shit, we better get out of here. Let's loot all the bodies we can and then we'll turn tail and run. Go back up with the boys. It's gonna be fun to see actually what, well, I, we're not gonna see it, but eventually we'll find out exactly what went down in Blackwater and why Dutch can't be trusted. Dutch has changed. Apparently he was a different man years ago. Him and Jose raised a bunch of the boys in the gang, including Arthur Morgan. But he's not the same man that he used to be. We don't know why that is yet, but I'm interested to find it out. Are they here? Still don't see any law, man. Not really a lot of valuable loot here. The train is what's going to be valuable. Well, I think that's just about it. What's the difference between an old bus terminal and a lobster wearing a bra? One's a crusty bus station and the other is a busty crustacean. <laughs> that is the comment that I decided to read. Okay. <laughs> Ah, I love the destruction of the game. Look at that barrel. Wait, what? Oh, Holy shit! Peaceful, boy. Just one? Okay. I don't know, there's another one somewhere. I know how this looks. It looks bad, but it wasn't just me that done all this. Oh hell, I killed the horse. That's your fault, mister. I don't like your horses! Careful, don't lose your head there. <laughs> Serpentine! You gotta run an S formation. That's how you miss the bullets. Shut up! You'll be begging before I'm done. Yeah, that's a real. <laughs> Shot his goddamn head off! That's a really good comeback, Arthur. Shut up! Fool! Real good. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep. Spend enough time in this place. Now, where exactly are we supposed to meet the boys at? I wasn't listening to that part. Well, we're not going back to Blackwater, that's for damn sure. Oh, shit. We got a bad bounty here, $105. Damn! And over here, we got a $45 bounty. We're wanted just about everywhere. Oh, wait a second. That's where we're supposed to meet up. No, that's a stranger. Well, I think we're just supposed to leave the area first. Let's lose the police. Might be able to lose them in here. Oh, wait, you guys have... <laughs> I know what that looked like. I didn't run in there on purpose. I was trying to jump in the fence. It's not letting me do it. So, uh, do we have any idea what time in November Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is coming out? I don't think that we do, unfortunately. 
but uh, I was curious about that because they delayed the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online back when uh, GTA 5 first came out. And I was wondering if they were going to delay the, the launch of uh, Red Dead Online. I don't know, it's, it's possible. I'll be curious to see what happens. Alright, so we can now go and do whatever we want. They're meeting back at camp. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to the next mission, and hopefully, after that, we should be able to rob the train. Justin Weaver. Anyone else watching this because they can't afford anything to play it on? Yeah. Yeah. At first, uh, I thought you were saying you can't afford the game. You, you don't have a console. A lot of people just have a gaming PC. They don't want a console. They have everything they want to play on PC except, except for this. Well, Justin, I don't think you're going to have to... Well... It depends. I don't think you have, you have to wait too long, though. You'll probably be able to play it in 2019. Well, I don't know. See, that's where it gets tough, because if they release the next-gen consoles next year, it's rumored that PlayStation might be releasing the PS5 in 2019, but I think they're going to announce a 2019 release in 2020. So, if that's what's going to happen, here's, here's my rough timeline. I think that in 2019, they're going to release the PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2. And in 2020, they might be releasing uh, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2 versions of Red Dead Redemption 2. That would be my guess anyway. Oh, God, I was about to fall over dead. Easy. Beautiful spot. Uh, let's feed them some classic oat cakes or something. You're not doing so hot. You gotta take care of your horse. Very important that you do, especially when online comes out. Because when online comes out, you're not just gonna be able to rely on the main missions to give you copious amounts of money. You have to earn that money. And your horse is gonna be a very expensive liability or an excellent tool to aid you in your journeys. It's up to you. Depends how you treat it. Yeah. All right, Rally Scott. That's a good question. Oh, I'm sorry, Rally Scoot. Rally Scoot. I have a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I don't know which version to buy. So if you have an Xbox One X, obviously get that. The definitive edition. The definitive list. Here's how it goes. Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, PS4, Xbox One. That is the order in which you should buy Red Dead Redemption 2. It's best by far on the X. It's really good on the Pro. It's it's just fine on the PlayStation 4, and it's fine on the Xbox, but PlayStation 4 is better than the standard Xbox One or S. But yeah, PlayStation 4 Pro isn't that much better than the PS4. However, uh, the Xbox One X is leaps and bounds over the PlayStation 4 Pro. We are playing this in native 4K. Native 4K. Do you understand what that means? Hey. That is impressive. Very impressive for a console. Granted, it's running 30 FPS, but so is everything else. Alright. This is the place we were supposed to meet the Reverend. I don't see the Reverend. You hear, Reverend? Hey. There's a dog. Watch, no. you in here? I'm gonna say hi to the dog. It's important to question everybody that might be your witness as to where your party may have went. Hey, that door just opened. And the other one opened weird. How you doing, boy? Oh, what a good boy. Look at this thing. What breed is this? This is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. It's a retriever. Hello, boy. Hey, look at us. Hey, boy. Who's a good boy? Pet him, Arthur. Pet him. <laughs> ah, hell, he just want to be pet. He's cute, though. Look at his tail wag. Who's a good boy? 
There's one thing that I refuse to kill in this game, and that is dogs. Unless they're llama dogs. I'll kill them. Reverend, where are you? Oh, that's another Reverend. Swanson, you hear me? Swanson! That's kind of weird because we've called out. Oh, wait. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. <laughs> No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Well, sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I've never actually I'm played Luther. poker before. This is Marvin. At the start of each round, each player is dealt two cards. More cards will be dealt Fortunate later. For you. I need to re. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to play it by ear and hope for the best. Being gentlemen about this. Oh, Same God. goes for you. Okay, the players must bet on who has the best hand so, or bluff with a weaker one. You two know each other anyway. Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Arthur has a queen and a ten. A promising He can't be no real hand. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's... Drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. In your own time. Uh, forgive me. It's all I can afford. Is that it? fourth community card is known as the turn. Whatever the hell that means. It's Arthur's turn to bet. All right, well, the ace is a scarce card. If another player has made a pair of aces, they will beat you with a, your pair of queens. You might consider betting low. All right, how low? Four says is just insulting. Let's go with six. I know, it ain't too exciting. Huh. I think six cents may have been too low for low. After the fifth community card known as the river has been dealt, there's a final round of betting. I never played poker before. <laughs> it's Arthur's turn to bet. Okay, well. By also matching the ten and the community cards, they're doing a good job of teaching it though. Uh, Arthur's made two pairs, queens and tens. All right, all right, all right. Decent hand and a good basis to bet confidently. Sometime the game could be bluffing me. Old would be nice. 
All in. Ah, what the hell? Let's go all in. I reckon I'll go all in. Sure. Hmm. There. Pile of crap. Don't laugh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. For Woo! Christ's sakes. <laughs> Come on. Look at that. Woo. You have unlocked the Gambler Challenge. Check your log for more information. Yeah, let's keep this going. You lucky son of a bitch. I gotta say, that is actually pretty cool. Ain't this a fine old time? The best. Wish you'd left some booze for us. I'm parched. All right, well, we gotta train her up. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? God damn it. This is a little too familiar. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Is he a real reverend? You crazy? Hey! Ah, what a beautiful day. What in the hell? Get your hands off him. Oh, shit. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Let's... Uh, uh, God damn, it's like a freight train. Uh, 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 I'll kill you both. Kept our balance, that's good. Ah, shit, we lost our hat. You're gonna pay for that. You're damn fools. Oh, that's a good move. That's a good move. Oh, shit. Is that all you got? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to take a little bit of a remedy here. A little bit of moonshine helps any fight. How perfect is this? At least hit me. We just won a round of poker and now we're getting in a fist fight with this big son of a bitch. Kind of looks like the German Nazi from uh, Indiana Jones. Hey, you! Get back here! Lucky for us, this poor son of a bitch can't run for shit. We could last him if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna run him down. I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. It's the last thing I needed. This Reverend better be worth the trouble. <sighs> now what where's Reverend? To see him on the bridge. That's a nice day. Is that guy going back to the cops? 
Yeah, should have known. How great these rocks look. Man. Excellent job making this world. You know, I'm thinking it might just be easier if we hogtie the Reverend and Come be done on, with it. My friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Get it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> oh, I love this son of a bitch. He's like a chaotic Lenny. He's like if you combined Lenny, Jose, you and Arthur up. onto one person. All right, he's drunk as hell, so uh, I'm imagining the ass of our horse hey, is about to be covered in vomit. Yeah. Have I been a bad boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Kippers, I didn't mean to be a bad boy. Uh, what are you mumbling about now? <laughs> How doesn't he fall off? That's what I want to know. Should have tied him on. All the times he's disappeared without us seeing him. Oh, he's playing poker in his head. Yeah. Is it a strip poker? Man, I... How far is this guy's house anyway? Let's go, boy. Uh... I like how we're supposed to be robbing a train, and so far we've uh, seen a train a couple times. First, when we were hunting a bear. Secondly, when we were trying to avoid being made in the street meat by it. My God. I will never get over this game's graphics. Okay, Reverend. Uh, we don't have poker here, but we do have a game called Knife and Dominoes. I would suggest Dominoes because in your state, well, you're probably not going to have any fingers left. You need those to play poker. Ma'am. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. Now I know what it feels like to be my Uber driver. Huh. Well, at least he doesn't have a horse. <sighs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Hello, good sir. Jesus Christ, Sean, are you drunk off your ass? How you do? Hi, Sean. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and he just got a refill. Uh, let's get some soup in us and then see what Hosea needs. Hi, Arthur. Lenny. Lenny! Hello. All right. So we are going over to all the way over to Ambrose Ranch. Damn. We'll go to Valentine first. I love that you can eat and walk. Old school fast food. Just a big pot of stew simmering. Did he toss that inside of the? I ah, missed. That would have been so cool if we actually made it inside of the bucket. So now we could uh, ride our horse all the way over to Emerald Ranch, but it would be a lot faster if we just use the Valentine train station to bring us over to the Emerald train station. So that's what we're going to do. Antagonize. Why don't I antagonize John Mark? That seems like a bad idea. We're about to rob the train with a man. We want to be able to put some trust in one another. Go to a post office and pay off your bounties? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Ah, you don't pay off your bounties. Only a fool does that. How much money do we have? We have not $192. If I paid off my bounties, I would have negative cash. No, no. What you do is you spend all of your money, and then you commit a petty crime and turn yourself in when the lawmen show up. That way, you don't spend any money. They can't take any money from you. And you still uh, problem? lift your bounty. You just spent a couple of nights in jail, that's it. Man, that is the trashiest thing I probably could have said, but it's true. That's the way it should be done. How do you do? Just a moment, please. What if they're gonna have the train in multiplayer? How can I be so. of service? Hope you have a good trip. Man, that's cheap. Two dollars and twenty cents. Yeah, you can lasso anybody you want to, Hector. In fact, lasso is a lot better than murdering them if you want to be a hero. Well, you've got a, a morality meter. I guess you could say you've got a moral barometer. Uh. It goes from our lot of hero, and right now we're just about in the middle, kind of right in the middle line, but if somebody witnesses you committing a crime, you can shoot him dead. Dead men don't talk. Or you can hog time, lasso him, and convince them not to report the crime. You can also take those people with you after you hog time, put them on the back of your horse, maybe dispose of them through other means. My favorite is uh, putting them in a pig pen and watching the pig eat the men alive. And yes, pigs, uh, they do eat men. Okay, boy. We showed that off last night when we were, uh... You have yourself a good evening, Barker. Well, we were role-playing a serial killer called the Pig Man. <laughs> and at the end of the live stream, we, uh... We fed a man to pigs. It was a beautiful thing. I don't like this ranch, I gotta say, uh, there's a pretty bad taste in my mouth. We were here earlier trying to collect a death from some lady who's not smart with money, got a little fist fight, it was a whole thing. I work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur, 
Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Now he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. I gotta say, I don't like this man that uh, Jose is meeting up with. You remember him? We actually had an altercation with that very same man the last time we were at Emerald better, Ranch. You? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. He actually insulted us. The man insulted us. I just can't stand by that. Uh, what kind of dad do we want here? Dog rat. Yeah, good choice. There have been talks that no. we're going to extend the day night saying? cycle. Make yes, the days and the nights longer. You know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jose. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was not supposed to happen. Jesus Christ. That guy's running like he shit his pants. Uh, so what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Yeah. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Jose was so goddamn pissed he shot the horse. <laughs> he just brought it. No hesitation, he brought out his gun and shot the thing right in the gut. God damn, that was brutal. Anyway, uh, that little bit about the rancher's daughter, or the, the daughter of the Emerald Ranch being locked up in a room and not being allowed to leave. I remember that. We, uh, we got that information, uh, two streams ago, actually. And we were gonna look into it, but we never did. We should look into it and hold up! Wait a second be before I continue. Ahead. Crazy no Ivan! I hope that's a reference to Red Alert 2. Is it? There's a character called Crazy Ivan. He was, he was my favorite. Mm -hmm. He would run around with sticks of dynamite and he would blow up me, the other you? team's bases and buildings. For the pig man! Keep up the good works. Serial killers united! Yes! Leave yes! Near these trees over a here. fan of the pig man! Now that is a man after my own heart. I really appreciate the, the, that donation, Ivan. By the way, that is a good uh, name for a serial killer. Now, Crazy Ivan in Red Alert, he wasn't a serial killer. He was just a serial terrorist. <laughs> but, uh, Ivan, if you like serial killing, we're going to be serial killing in our gang. Just as soon as online comes out. Oh, shit, look at that. It's a pack of foxes hunting a pack of deer. That is badass. 
Things like this happen all the time in the game. These two are holding back. Oh no, those are wolves. I thought they were foxes from a distance. But yeah, I have them. If you want to join our gang and do some serial killing, uh, please, please do so. I'm going to be playing with you guys in-game just as soon as online comes out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Uh, no killing. Got to remember that. It's a little hard for the former pig man not to do any killing. <laughs> Yeah, looks quiet enough. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Actually, you know what? I just got a great idea. If we can all get pigmen masks and online, okay, let's, let's have two gangs. You know, our normal gang, the massive vander... Ah, we'll, we'll come up with something better than that. But we'll have two gangs. We'll have our normal gang, and then when we all don the pig mask, We'll be the Pigman Gang. Who's with you today? Oh shit! Sorry, Jose. I, I'm just thinking about serial killing again. It's hard to switch it off, you know. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Yeah. I like the day plan. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Good luck, Jose. <laughs> oh, I got a bad feeling about this. We should have waited until night. I feel like this is going to get messy. Still, this is going to be fun. We're sneaking into a house, breaking and entering. This is going to be great. By the way, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm going to check everything in the house. Don't you worry. Even the chimney. Chimney's a good place to check. People in the day, they actually used to hide things in the chimney. But, uh, yeah, if you were asking about our Discord... We're going to be using the Discord to manage all of our... Uh, okay, he's distracting. Let's move. Let's be fast. $45 worth of items. We're going to rob it for more than that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to use our Discord to manage all of our gang activities in Red Dead Redemption. That is our campsite. Now, uh, our moderator in the chat room, I think she's, I think she's uh, uh, listening. I don't know. Maybe she might not be. But, uh... I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. She knows the name of the Discord. It has currently escaped me, but I, I think it's just called Massive G. Anyway, um, yeah, there'll be a link in the chat room uh, to the Discord, so if you guys just want to join up in that, uh, that's where we're going to be managing all the gang activities. My name. Shit, there's two. My name is. Now don't tell no one because in New York I'm kind of famous. All right, we gotta be fast. We gotta search every goddamn thing in this house. My God, Jose! <laughs> what a performance! Ah, uh, nothing so far. Wait, wait. Medicine chest. Oh, up there, of course. Snake oil. I love that they've actually got snake oil. To be fair, there was a time when snake oil was actually, you know, not known as snake oil. Alright, $26. Platinum band's gotta be worth something. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna stop here. I'm gonna check literally everything in the house that I can check. Even that's not nailed down. Looking for secrets. You know, it'd be really cool if, if you hear a creaky floorboard, but it's like a hollow sounding creak. Then you can actually pry it up and there's something underneath the floorboards. That would be nice. I use the floorboards a lot to hide things. Alright, we have, uh, see what I tell you, chimney. We have enough money where we could leave. Oh my god! $200?! This is why we, uh, we're gonna check the entire house. 
because that is quite a bit of money. And we don't know what else could be around here. Do they have any chimneys upstairs? Maybe. This is fun, though. I love that the game's not just about shooting, you know. It's about everything. Robin. Herding sheep, herding animals. Hunting. You can take baths. You, you can hire women to scrub your back in the bath. It's really a wildlife life simulator. I'm hoping that Cyberpunk 2077... Oh my god, I'm so excited about that game. So I don't know if you've heard about it, but CD Projekt Red, the people that made The Witcher 3, they're making a new game, and it's called Cyberpunk 2077, and that is going to... What the hell? Jesus Christ! Jose works for his money! Good job, Jose! <laughs> All right, what about this? Ah, that's a fireplace, that's not a chimney. Still, fireplace in just about every room. Mm. You gotta close the doors where they'll see that they got robbed. Shit, you're right, good idea. All right, let's be fast. We gotta get out of here, because I don't know how long he's gonna be giving back massages, but. That's not gonna last forever. Oh shit, Jose is leaving. Shit, 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 shit. All right, we gotta get out of here now. Now, 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 now. Who are you? Shit! Shit! Trick! Shoot this bastard! Oh hell! I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't realize I couldn't sprint in the house. Shit! All right, we gotta get out of here. Oh, hell. We really messed this one up. All right, we gotta get inside of the bar somehow. You know what? I got an idea. We can just lasso these boys up and there won't have to be any bloodshed. You're going in the ground! Come on, come on! There we go, we got one of them boys. Dead or just knocked out? I can't tell! Ah! Shit! Jose, don't you go shooting these bastards, come on now. We don't have to do things like that. Just hold still. I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach, we need to leave now. Someone in the chat room said there was about $400 in the house. Well, I didn't quite find $400, but that's why I was taking so long. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances if I could find that, that amount of money. That would be incredible. Wait, how the hell do I get in there anyway? Can I open this up? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> Why'd you close the doors, Hosea? driving this thing or is he oh he's driving this thing well you know what i think i'm not gonna ride the side of the stagecoach because that sounds like more fun oh. i don't think i can oh man all right let's go yeah wait am i am i driving this thing no i'm not driving this thing he's driving this thing or am I driving this thing? I, I can't seem to control them. Uh, Hosea? What are we doing here? Did I glitch it? Shit, I think I glitched it. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Come on! Is it these damn doors? I think it's the doors. Well... This ain't good. This ain't good at all. What if I shot my gun? Come on! Come on! Damn it! What if I shot the horse? Just in the leg, you know, nothing fatal. Okay. 
Yeah, can't shoot the horse. That makes sense. Can't seem to spook him either. Dynamite! I've got dynamite. Yeah, I got dynamite. All right, well. Let's throw it toward the back. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was trying to throw it behind the, uh... I was trying to throw it behind the, the, the coach. Maybe I've got a chance to do this with stealth. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just going it, to... It's going to load us back up uh, after the men were dead. The oh, that's perfect. You bastard. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. Yep. There we go. Oh, this takes me back. You guys remember the medicine man, Mr. Dickens? Red Dead Redemption near Armadillo? Looks like his stagecoach. Of course, this doesn't look like Armadillo. Damn it, Arthur. Why did you start there? Take it easy, Arthur. Just wanted to get this done with. And I wanted this done quiet and simple, but there we go. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. Yeah. Man. It's possible this guy isn't going to work for us in the future because of... How messy so what this were you able to lift be. from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Damn right. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Holy shit, guys! It's just like Grand Theft Auto. Instead of a car, it's a horse and a stagecoach. Instead of a garage, it's a barn. Oh, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Oh my god. This is a great reference to Grand Theft Auto. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. So glad we got a new horse. Anyway, I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but, uh... Seamus is now a partner in crime, you could say. Whenever we find a stagecoach, we can rob that stagecoach, bring it back to the barn, and it's like a Los Santos shop. He uh, modifies it, gives a new coat of paint, and boom, bingo bango, we just sold a new car. Yeah. I love this game. I really do. This is... I've said this before, but I really mean it. This is my favorite game of all time. Like, if I take away nostalgia, not, nothing can come close. And online's not even out yet. God, I'm excited about that. All right, how much money do we have? We've got $460. Woo-wee! <laughs> all right. Hey. John Marston pouring forth oil. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys and gals ready for a train robbery? Because that is exactly what we are doing. But first, uh, take a look at this ledger here. I got something important to show you, so pay attention. All right. No, God damn it, don't control. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised there's not an option to steal from the, uh, from the fund. Anyway, uh, Arthur, $30. Javier, $1. Strauss, 30 cents. 
Strauss, 36. Shit, he's got to be the richest of all of us. Aside from Dutch. John, $10. Good man. Good man. Jose, $5. Good man. Tilly, 45 cents. Sadie, Iguana Scale, 15 cents. Tilly, Batwing, 50. What the fuck? Anyway, uh, check this out. So this is what I was talking about. Next in line, Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. See that? That is a good, good way to spend money. Here's what Dutch wanted. Something comfier. <laughs> now who's leading the who's leading the gang again? All right, that was a lot of money. But now we can fast travel. Your lodging has been upgraded. A fast travel map and additional grooming supplies are now available. All right, check this out. We can now fast travel anywhere in the game to any town that we have visited. We can't fast travel back from the town. We can, o we can only fast travel going away from the camp. Let's see what we got in our shaving kit. They said they expanded uh, our options here. We're currently at length 7 out of 10. You can get to 10, and it looks crazy. It looks crazy. It looks, I was going to say incredible, but that's not exactly accurate. He looks like shit. But it's still interesting. Now, if you want to get to 10, you have to use hair tonic because you can't, uh, you can't go any higher without hair tonic from 7. Which is not possible. Let's change up our clothing a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Crafted hats, found hats, stolen hats. Raccoon hat is still here! Welcome back! Now that's meant for warm weather, but whatever. It looks stylish. Alright. So, uh, we need to meet with John. I always think we might pick up a new gun first over in Valentine. Yeah, let's do that real quick, real quick. Plus, I want to. Check this out. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be taming the White Arabian horse. Don't you worry about that. So, um, we are going to Valentine for guns, but I'm being completely honest, I'm also going there to buy a hair tonic. I, I didn't want you guys to get mad. I think this was a waste of a trip, but I, I want some hair tonic. I'm not talking about a pomade, I'm talking about something that's going to allow my hair to grow longer. Because before, before we cut our hair, I want to get to level 10 first, and uh, we're just so close, but I need Out hair time. Watch it now. I knew you'd be back. Have a look around. Yeah, you bet. Now, uh... There's no uh, scrapping in my shop, you hear me? You want to be careful best, there, my friend. You're best, uh, consuming this hair time before you go after the mission. You keep on like that. Wait, what? Holy uh, shit! He's uh, coming uh, back for his raccoon uh, there! God uh, damn. damn it! Get the hell out of here! What do you think I'm trying to do, mister? Ah, oh, shit! I don't want to pay for any damage in your own goddamn. Let's take it outside! Get off! You sack of shit! You ain't much. You're a ten pound sack of shit in a two pound bag! I'm getting out of here! Oh my god. I'm wanted! Are you kidding me? I was trying to go into my satchel. I was trying to block it. I couldn't go into my satchel. I couldn't go into my satchel. Now, how do you expect me to heal myself? Answer me that. You can't. Because there's no answer for it. I, I didn't want to find that $15. Are you kidding me? Shit. That is an expensive mistake. I still have the raccoon hat on. No! We lost it! We lost our goddamn raccoon hat. Son of a bitch. 
Is he in the bar? Yeah. Oh. No, he's gone. Damn, I'm sorry we missed that. I should have just fought him inside of the store. What the hell? Out of the wow. damn way. I'll look past what happened before, but keep it civil, all right? Don't yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Get what you I'm actually going to see if I can reload and try that again. <laughs> it is hard to run away from a fist fight. Like, I was trying to take the fist fight outside, but he was not letting go of me. Absolutely. Wait. Did I say save? All right, good, 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 good. So, uh, uh, let's see if there's uh, an auto save around here. All right. Our latest save is 1659 auto save. Shit. Yeah, we, we, we can't go back for it. We didn't win that fight, so uh, he will go. come back after us, just not right away. Anyway, uh, well. I was trying to bring it outside, but it was goddamn impossible. I should have just fought him inside of the store. But I didn't want to be wanted by the law. And, uh, yeah, let's just put that back on. You got your act together? Yeah, I don't need to I'll warn you it. again. I won't have you lingering. Do your shopping and move on. That just came out of nowhere. Good lord. Fine, all right. This is the catalog. All right. So this is the hair tonic I was talking about. You can take three at a time. That's as far as they'll stack, so if you take any more, it's not going to count. This is how you grow your hair out as fast as possible. All right, where is it? Where's the hair toner? Ginseng elixir, bitters, cocaine gum, potent health cure, snake oil. What the hell? Where the hell did I put the hair tonic? Should be here, shouldn't it? Bitters. I'm going crazy. Health cure, horse medicine. What the, what the hell? Alright, it's gotta be in another, uh, Oh, kit. Okay. That's where it is. Now, you don't have the option to drink all three of them at once, so you gotta navigate back in your satchel and drink them manually, but it's worth it to get that beautiful beard. Totally worth it. do for you let's see if we can uh, customize our guns a little Old bit Crawford, we haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to our pump action shotgun ain't sure it was his to start with mind you uh, we can extend the barrel improve the rifling I don't know if I necessarily care too much about accuracy but this is a good gun so range is good it's a good option I kind of want to customize the stock a little bit. Actually, let's add a wrap. Always wanted to put a wrap on. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, what about cosmetics? You can customize just about every part of these damn things. I like blue steel myself. It's kind of hard to see the, uh, the difference it makes, though. Easiest to see on the frame. Silver's not bad. All right, we'll go for that later. I'll, we'll go for the uh, for the varnish first. We really want to make that uh, that wrap that we have pop. Now, let's put something classic on it. Some cherry, or maybe mahogany. Yeah, let's go with mahogany. Nice and rich. Goes with a lot of the metals, too. Oh, crap! I didn't know you could change the leather. Man, this game just keeps getting better. Just not definitely. Well, I don't know. Chocolate looks pretty nice, too. Ah, uh, well, 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 shit. Go, chestnut. Can't even see the carvings. All right. Well, what about engravings? Yeah, we should definitely go for an engraving. That is fine. Ornamental. Art Nouveau, Victorian. I think we're going to go with... Uh, 
Something really classic like this. Go for a nickel inlay. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent job. We got a lot more we could customize, but I think we're gonna save our money for more guns. All right. Let's go rob that train. Thank you. Really. Actually, you know what? First, you guys said that you wanted to see Ivory. Now, I got a question for you, chat room. Uh, what grips do you want to see on our revolvers? Currently, we got Mesquite, something like that. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. But uh, we're going to go for something a little more fancy. So there's things like, hold on, carvings, engravings, and that. How do I? How do I switch this out? It's not in there. Yeah, it's components out there. Yeah, grip. Here we go. So we've got you know ironwood, what? ebony, and I pearl. I bet I can make this should piece work a lot better ebony? for you. Bolts, triggers, parts. Or should we go with here. pearl? I'm gonna let you guys decide this one. I'm assuming you're gonna go with pearl. Ebony's nice, but it just doesn't quite pop. Also, check this out. So, uh, as I move here, you can see that it's actually got a sheen to it. Like, it's not just reflective. There's different parts that are more reflective than others. It's like if that paper real boy life. stays at that post next to my really shop any job. longer, I may lose it. Ivory, Very ivory. Very dangerous for a gunsmith to snap. Uh, well, we could do <laughs> ebony and ivory. That's a reference to Devil May Cry. I'm gonna split down the middle. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna control F. We're gonna do this nice and scientific like. This is one of our primo guns. We use this thing Good all the time. Parker. So perhaps you could join me later in the or two figuring out what you guys want. All right, we got. Uh, uh, I'm kind of thinking one of each. I think that might be really fun. All right, Pearl has 68 votes, at least. Ebony has 31, so it is definitely Pearl we're going for. All right. The chat room has spoken. But I'm going to make uh, the other Dangerous. the other people in the chat room happy by making uh, one of them Pearl and the other one Ebony. Let's see what else we can... Uh, I think we have these completely tricked out, but just in case we don't... Let's see here. Rifling, we've already done that. Great, excellent. Iron size, I know we've done that. What about styles? Is there anything we can do for this? Yeah. That might be kind of fun doing a... I don't know, it's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> if we could... <gasps> oh, yes, yeah, the cylinder! Yeah, boy! Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, well... I'm kind of thinking it might be fun if we could, uh... <sighs> Gold is a little too flashy. I think brass well, Valentine might be the connecting the west to the with. east. I get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted, like, a pearl look for the, for the cylinder, and then we would use, like, an ebony look for the uh, ebony gun, but we can't do that. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's not an option. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here, too. Don't no, mind the like brass than brass does. All right. I like it. Uh, what about our engravings? Let's see if we switch it up a little bit. Alright, let's check out... I sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. Hold on. Figuring out what would look best in our gun. Actually, I think, uh... I think I got an idea here. Alright, for the barrel...
Ah, you know what? It's fine. We'll change that later. If it for all the taking too much time as it is. We're just going to have our other cattlemen business. match. Except with the grip. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. This one's going to be Ebony. And then we're going to switch on to uh, our brassiest gold color for the rest of our medals here. All right. Looking nice now. Let's get out of here. Let's go rob that train. We're gonna be robbing it in you style. Do we still have our coonskin hat on? I think we do. That's it's not too classy. I... Man, that is thick. Look at that tail. Come on. Boy. That is thick. Ah. Oh. Ah, hell, maybe it is classy. Well, let's get uh, get back to John. On our assault, that was an accident. Shit! No raccoon head! Yep. Ah, oh, hell, we gotta get out of here. Crime has been reported. We gotta get out before the lawmen arrive. We'll put we'll put the raccoon hat back on a camp. We just can't put it back on right now. Unfortunately, they know who we are, so putting this pig mask on was completely mute. I mean, moot. Jesus Christ. They're putting this pig mask on with mute. Shan't have done that. Yeah. Lost a raccoon hat for nothing. One of the cool things is, uh, grips are always busy. Because, uh... Your guns are in holsters that cover the barrel and the frame, but not the grip. Oh, we see that. So it is a worthy investment, in my opinion. It's one of the best investments you can have for your pistol, aside from things that affect stats. But I like what we got going here with Ebony and Ivory. It's a nice reference to Devil May Cry, but at the same time, it just looks bitchin'. We're gonna do that same thing when we play GTA on I mean, Red Dead Online. Personally, I liked GTA Online, and I liked Grand Theft Auto V, but... Red Dead Redemption, in my opinion, is the better... Well, objectively, it's the better game, because... I mean, if GTA 6 came out now, hey, then listen. that would also be better than... Oh, just uh, wanted to say. Grand Theft Auto V hey, was... Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Hey, you seem in a good mood. I Even am, you, son. Arthur. I am. Even you. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. And don't Maguire you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all. So come on. I'll Let's keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Party sounds nice. You know, I kind of wanted to take care of that train, though. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire is back. <laughs> Stolen hats. I guess he was coming on back after it. Clockwork. He's never gonna get it back though. I love you, bastards. No, sure. Have fun. Have lots of fun. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Well, we can't rob the train anyway. We're partying. Hey, John. Sitting by the fire with friends. No matter what else happens, nothing quite beats sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've the hell discovered the wire down? you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to it. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Oh, finally, our oh, good well, news, well, eh? Uh, indeed. Oh, this is here in the worst. <laughs> well, you usually do, my love. I'll put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, well, what I do say? She says, young man, you're rather low. What a diddle, 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 diddle all day. I put my finger on her knee, Mark. Well, well what I do say? She says, young man, you're rather free. Or diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I 
This is great. What we know over here? Make some food. all day. Beer bottle. Oh, alcohol, of course. good excuse to celebrate. And take another one from here. Yes, we can. Guess there's whiskey over here. There's all kinds of drinks all over the camp map. What's this one? This whiskey? Moonshine? Gin? More beer. What's this letter about? Please don't soak me up. With the bell of the ball. This is to certify that Marion Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder and deviancy. Dated 1892. Hmm. I didn't realize that Bill's middle name was Marion. Weird. Why does he keep that around? Dishonorably discharged. Yeah, it is whiskey. It's actually kind of sweet. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Of course. Of course, honey. Just gotta finish this whiskey first. Makes dancing with you more tolerable. You understand? Well, well, well. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. It doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. That what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are Arthur is hover handing? Unbelievable! To be fair, I think Arthur may still be sweet on his <laughs> former woman. <laughs> I love moments like this in games. I really do. This is what puts the heart in a game, you know what I mean? Gotta have a heart in a game for me to care about the characters. <laughs> This game does a great job of it. Someone in the chat room mentioned a really cool fact that there are at least 80 pages of dialogue for all of the characters. And many, many, many more for some like Arthur, Dutch, Hosea. <gasps> okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Should I kept dancing with her? Now I feel bad. They're still dancing and now she's just... Oh. Oh. All right, let's see what the boys are up to. Wait, more drink. Oh, beer. Wonder what beer tasted like back then. And I roll and sing with First beam. Oh, oh, I, 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 I sing a merry song. Oh, oh, I, 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 I wander over. Oh, oh, with a light, light heart, I roll along. What do you want? Oh, oh with a light, light I'm not, heart, I roll along. I'm not quite sure. Loves a wild free <laughs> rover for a roll. 
This keeps happening. What the hell is wrong with Reverend? You got it, Mr. Morgan. Reverend! What the hell are you doing? Maybe he's going for a piss. Don't walk off the cliff, you dumb son of a bitch. Is that what he's going to do? Oh, shit. What the hell is he doing? Maybe you're going to piss off it. Reverend, you're freaking me out. What is this? Seriously, I'm awful confused here. <laughs> I mean, he approached me. It's not like I approached him. Ah, what the hell. Let's get back to the party. Your fellow countryman returns. Huh? Apparently. Well, enjoy. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Uh-huh, yeah. Talk to you later. She doesn't like me very much. I can tell. If we have some sort of a history I don't know about. Oh, shit, uncle! What are you talking about? Let me ride on the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now, what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. Her <laughs> come in angrily said, Now you have lost your, your maiden head. Pack <laughs> your bag and your little up, ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. All this time upon her door. Dollar each and three for two. Take your crack at the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. God damn, I love this game. Dirty man. Lenny looks pissed. Yeah. Lenny, you don't like this song? Jesus Christ. Melt that article with that look. I think that caused global warming. <clears throat> How are you? I'm good. John so talking to Bill to Williamson. Well, well ain't this you. special? What are these two talking about anyway? They're making me nervous. Hey, Dutch is going to talk to Molly. Or not. Okay. <laughs> Give him the cold shoulder, I guess. Well, we got him. You did very well, all of you. And now we're stuck with it. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. Uh, you know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. I believe him. Just got his funny way of showing it. I wish I could talk to John and Bill. This is an interesting pair. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. <laughs> Already stealing Sean's moment. <laughs> the voices get really quiet sometimes. I don't know why. I am not made for the hands. <laughs> Wasn't the same too without him. Nope. Too many angles. Yeah. Me? I like a flat horizon. Wide and clear, little waves taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard. Thick mud, railways, filthy towns. Man. This has got to be the most immersive game I've ever played. Let's see if there's any games around. Wow, she's gone to sleep already. And Dutch looks like he's already working on his hangover. Look after your boy tonight. 
He's not my boy. Okay. Okay. I wonder why the voices are getting all quiet. Oh, shit. Hey, we haven't talked to her in a long time. Can I get you anything? A drink? I'm fine. Well, you let us know. This is a lady whose husband was killed in front of her. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. I think she's still coming to terms with all that. John looks drunk as a skunk already. Suddenly you seem much better, Marshal. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. All right. Let's get drunk. Yeah, we haven't robbed the train yet. That's what we're doing next. But first, we got this party. I've been excited about this. I got wind of this party before I attended it. So I knew it was coming at some point. I didn't know when. Alright, one after the other. Let's go. Have we been to all these drink stations yet? I, th I think so, except for this one. I don't think we've been to this one yet. <laughs> This is more like it. We have whiskey and beer, and I'm sure they're both stolen. Hosea! My friend! How you doing, Hosea? Are you having a good time? Are you having a good party? You okay, Hosea? Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. Well, I can't think of anything else to say. Thanks. Can't think of anything else to say. Thanks! Thank God! Ain't taking you long to settle back in? I'm back. I am back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. I wonder why uh, Arthur's voice sounds so far away. <laughs> Is it because he's drunk? The lady I know. Hey, it's the girl we danced with. And Tilly. You okay, Tilly? <laughs> yes, just relaxing. So good to have Sean back. Yeah, well, you say that now. This could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. I love this drunk filter. It's the best one I've seen in the game yet. Now, if we drink too much, we'll actually black out. And I'm pretty sure there's uh, there's some activities that we would miss if we did. Bill, you're pretty drunk. And you're a funny fella. But you're okay. Well, you're not. Everyone things say your Dutch's pet. His pet? Okay. Yep. Fine folks in a while. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Mm, sure. I mean, it's, oh, it's like some do. A few people. Who? Mm. I don't know. Me or not me, maybe me. I don't, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay, I love liquor, I love liquor, but liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Now she really hates me, Arthur. 
Hey, his scars are starting to heal up. Man, him and his wife, they don't really have such a great relationship. There he is. Hi there! How are things? Ain't been better. All right. Let's see if we can talk to his wife. Wait, where the hell did she go? He knows, apparently. Man, she must have gone a ways. Can I get my gun out? Nah, I can't get my gun out here. I'm gonna try to do some target practice. Everybody's getting drunker and drunker. You in this for the long haul? Always to the bitter end, me, Morgan. I thought as much. Jose is already hitting the hay. So is Lenny. That's a far cry from the Lenny I got to know in Valentine. Holy shit! We just down. The, oh my God, Dutch is—he's like in a deep depression over here. My goodness, we just deep throated that whiskey. That's not the right word for it. Anyway, we downed it all in one swing. Let's do that again with a beer. Let's do that again with a beer. Yes! I've rambled and trampled this wide world around, raising hell with the gang. That's where I am bound. It's with these gunslingers, they'll molly I'll roam. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey, and I were a duck, quack, quack, dive to the bottom. <laughs> And one sweet up. But the ocean ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds and then we'll get drunk. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more whiskey. Hey, you guys want anything? Anybody want to start drinking with me? Hey, it's John's lady. I don't think she cares for us. Ah, no, you know, I think she likes Arthur just fine. It's just John that she hates the man that she's married to. Makes sense. Cheer up, Abigail. It's a party. <laughs> okay, I'll try, Arthur. I think some of those boys are just getting started. This boy's just getting started. Pierce is already out. Miss Grimshaw is out. German man's oh, out. Except uh, I just stomped is... on his feet. I'm sorry about that. He's in now. Yeah. Hello, Reverend. You all right there? Yeah, I might have overdone it again. <laughs> oh, Reverend, Reverend. Okay, speak later. Yep, and all right. All right, Arthur. Just like that one time at camp that you don't talk about, though, it was just a one-time thing. You just go. Oh, this is a real good idea. Just got completely wasted the night before you rob a train. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Oh shit! I got no idea. Bill, are you passing out with your eyes open? Bill, do you need some help up? Oh, you got this. You're fine. Should have known you'd be part of the drinks. Man, I just caught a fierce second win. Oh, God help us. What time is it? It is... God... 4 a.m. Damn, we've, uh, we've been at this for a while, haven't we? with a friend and for love knocks him down with his sprig of shillelagh and shamrock Almost everybody's gone to sleep. Well, I guess we'll go to sleep, too. Why the hell not? Add in one more beater. Just one more. I don't have a problem, I'm just thirsty. 
All right, well, we better <laughs> can't sleep until morning because it is morning. Ah, uh, we'll sleep until noon, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't be much of a party if we slept until morning. <laughs> oh, the best part is you, you, you party until morning and then you sleep till noon. That is how it's done. Pearson looks like he has a hangover. Oh my God, Uncle's still drinking. See, that's his secret. You never get a hangover if you never stop drinking. So you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. God damn, Arthur, that was sharp. Yo, Abigail even walks like she's got a stick up her butt. I know Mary's been seen again. Sure. Well, I always thought. Well, she sings real nice. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. Man, she's really bothered by something. This we'll find Hi, out Molly. eventually. Molly. All right, well, John wanted to see us, and I'm pretty sure he wanted to see us about uh, the train. So, guys, if you're just joining up now, you are just in time because we are going to be robbing ourselves a train. These are our guns, by the way. We call them Ebony and Ivory because they're... Ebony and Pearl. Okay. The name doesn't make too much sense, but it kind of looks like Ivory. Close enough, I guess. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, you pain in the air. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. If they see it, they know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're going to need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Let's go on after it then. So, we gotta go. Well, we could just travel to... Oh, no, that's my cup. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, we could just travel to Valentine. That'd probably be the easiest way to go over there. Actually, you know what? Valentine's not... Actually, I don't know. It's a little bit closer. But not if we cut straight through. Wait, we got more than one. That's right. Well... One's between Val- Oh, one's at Valentine. Well, that's even better. We'll just fast travel to Valentine, then. We do have a fast travel. We may as well use it. Ways of the day of the whiskey. By the way, we're not doing any major missions in this live stream. What? Where you really get into spoiler territory is around chapter four, especially at the end of chapter four. That is like, <laughs> do not pass go, do not collect, 
$200 if you don't want to spoil your entire game. That is heavy, and uh, there's no going back from that. You can't really forget what happens in... Wait, there's a lawman over there. We are wanted. I guess it's possible if he spots us that we're going to be in deep trouble. Let's be careful. They're not over here anyway. They're up toward the center of town, so we should be safe to meet John. takes a while to get moving. Its acceleration isn't great, but once it gets rolling, you'll be fine. Now, we are currently in the preparation stage for the train heist. We're gonna need these oil tankers for that. So once we get all these world tankers in position, that's when we'll be able to start the heist. Great. Looks like these horses never run out of stamina. That's perfect. We're just gonna ride them as hard as we can until we get to our destination. I love how accurate they made all these old-timey mechanics and vehicles look. This thing looks incredible. Very accurate, too. <laughs> Aiden, that is one hell of a comment, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're working on robbing the train right now. We just gotta get into position. So John has uh, raided a couple of these things. We just gotta get him where, well, he's shown us where they are. Yeah, robbed him, we're robbing them. Once we get him in a position, we'll be ready to rob the train. Where is the position anyway? Looks like we're almost there. Yeah. Yeah, just a little ways off. There's few games where I prefer not to use fast travel most of the time, and Spider-Man is one of them, because it's so much fun swinging around the city. And this is another. The game is so gorgeous, and the horse mechanics are really good. It just doesn't feel right to use fast travel all the time. All right, now once we uh, break off at the rendezvous point, we're actually really close to Emerald Ranch, which is good, because the next tanker isn't too far from our current position. No, we didn't rob the train yet, Damien. We're actually in the preparation stages right now. Looks like this is the place. Perfect. Except... Well, we don't have our horse nearby. That kind of sucks. I'm hoping once we meet John, that's gonna kind of fix itself. Where is John, anyway? Get on the wagon. Oh, okay. I think we just gotta take the wagon to where John's location is, then we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's the drop-off location is right next to that abandoned house. There we go. Yep. Yep. 
These things are incredibly bulky. I really, uh, like when we're riding on our race horse. Position. And I don't think that we need to get the other one, do we? We just needed one. No. That's right. I like to be sure. We'll go to Emerald Station. That'll bring us... Actually, you know what? Camp's not that far. All we need to do is find a wild horse or rob somebody else of their horse. Lucky for us, there's a stable right over here. Should be able to get our horse and get back to camp in no time. Yeah, that's perfect. We better put on that bandana first. We don't want anybody seeing us. Is that bandana on? Nope! Uh, how should we go? <laughs> Mister, I think that's air that you're brushing. Let's just be nice and easy about this. How do I pat him? It's not letting me pat him. Well, maybe I'll just get on and pat later. What about you? Let's go. There we go. Good job. Good job. Yeah. All right, they see us. Let's go! Ah! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! Oh, man! That horse dead. The horse is dead. All the horses are leaving. Great! You know, I don't think using that gun was such a bright idea. This is your ranch! You're shooting at your own horse! Whoa, whoa, right. easy. Good horse, good horse. This horse is not having any of this. It is being shot at. I can't blame it for being... Oh, God. Did he just die? Holy shit. <laughs> I'd rather kill their own horse than let somebody steal it. I should have killed these guys myself. Uh, how's the horse? Dead? Nah, it's getting there. Wait, revive! Perfect! We do have some medicine. Special horse reviver. That's exactly what we needed. Good thing I didn't shoot it in the head like I was about to okay. do. If we were just yeah. a couple feet away, I wouldn't have seen that. We'd have had to find another horse. That would have been a real pain in the butt. Well, great. Great house is almost here. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I can just camp and get my horse back. Forgot about that. You're not completely shit out of luck if you don't have your horse. The game's com It's... it's... As much of a simulator as possible, however... Yep. It's still a video game. Good boy. Now if you... if your horse dies and you don't have another horse... Well, that's when you're gonna run into some serious trouble. Obviously, you can still walk back to a train station somewhere, but it's going to take some time to do it. Or you can steal a horse, and you can find somebody with one. You can tame a wild horse as well. It's all up to you. I wouldn't be surprised if they do add some sort of an ultra-realism mode, actually. Or you have to eat and drink every few hours just to stay alive. We've had a lot of modifications like that in the past with Bethesda games, and I think Grand Theft Auto 5 now, on boy. PC had some sort of mode like that as well. Oh god. That's I can't cool. ride this horse too hard because it's not ours. You're okay, boy. I should have just set up a camp. Yeah. This, as long as I don't ride it too hard, it should be fine. Yeah, 
let's actually double check how it's 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 starting to bond with us, so that's good. Yeah, it's out of stamina. That's its problem. Now, if we fed it, we wouldn't have to worry about riding it too hard. We wouldn't have to worry about our bond with it either. Well, we'd have to get off. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get off real quick and feed it. Yeah, it's gonna be better in the long run. Yeah. That that poor easy, horse ain't doing so hot. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Keep going, boy. Can I feed this thing? Oh! It's not my horse, so I don't have a satchel. Poor bastard. Yeah, we have all of our class yeah. goat cakes stored on our, on our real horse, Moo Cow. Can you try shooting a horse ball? That's just, that's just wrong. Does this one have, yeah, this one has big balls, giant balls. I wouldn't feel right doing that. If it had any life in it, it'd probably kick our head clean off our shoulders. I mean, we could try punching it. That's, that's a little, not shooting, I don't know. That's, I mean, for one thing, it's animal cruelty, but for another thing, I kind of sympathize with how ridiculously sadistic it is to shoot a living creature's testicles. Oh, I can't get behind that. I'm sorry. I can't get behind that. Come on, boy, you can do it. Now, we're almost at the, we're almost at the camp. This is where we start our train robbery. Our horse doesn't die on us first. I don't want to keep this thing, so... Who's there? I'm just gonna leave Arthur. it outside of the camp. Look Hopefully it just back. goes away on its own. This poor horse. I killed its owner. To be fair, its owner killed a couple of his brothers and sisters. And uh, I took it away from his nice ranch where it was taken care for. It doesn't know how to survive in the wild on its own. And now it's in the wild on its own. Probably gonna die too. Well, that's a shame. Camp funds, zero dollars. You mean to say that nobody has given Thank anything you, to the tithing box in the... Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself, again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Was he sober? Son of a bitch, I think you was sober. <laughs> that was the first time for everything. You busy, Arthur? For a train robbery? Never. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Alarming Twitch. That is just about the best compliment you could give me. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Also, welcome to the fam. If any of you guys are new, if it's your first time watching, if you've just joined our posse, let me know. I would uh, be honored to welcome you personally. How are you holding up? Not very well. well I'm sorry. Hello. It'll get better eventually. That's the unfortunate truth. It gets better with time. You know, that's... That's not even the... That's not even the comforting part of it, in a way. That's... Oh, shit. Abigail needs to speak with us. I will do that later. That's Maka. Now, we gotta find somebody else to, uh... Do this train robbery with. Let's see this. Home robbery, Javier, hunting doll. Now, who can we find for this robbery? I was reading the chat room while John was speaking, actually, so... <laughs> I am screwed. John? So you're heading to the wagon now? Soon, yeah. Okay. Okay, he's heading to the wagon soon. Anyway, right. I won't disturb you. Sounds good. 
Okay there, Sadie? Alright, well, maybe we'll take a nap or something like that. He's getting ready for it, I guess. Maybe if we just head out of the camp, then it'll be, uh, it'll be enough of a trigger. Yeah, all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did. Welcome, Chopper, to the family. Joined a few days ago. Yeah. Who else we got that's new? Hey, man, I've been a long time fan, but it's my roommate. Ian, Ian, Jesus Christ, Ian, Ian, I'm sorry, Ian, this is his first stream and I get a shout out wrong, welcome to the posse, Hello, Ian. Arthur. when is multiplayer coming out, Massive G, well, ain't that the million dollar question, none of us know, it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be early November, or maybe it's late November, we're not sure, it's possible that, Charles, talk to Charles, all right. It's possible that uh, they could delay the release of multiplayer. That could be that could be uh, a little messy if they do that. They did it with GTA Online. Anyway, welcome to the posse, Ian Hello? Michael. Jesus Christ, I mispronounced it. Uh, you gotta forgive me, I'm standing, well, sitting like 10 feet away from my computer screen, which is where the chat room is. <laughs> welcome, Ian Mitchell, third time's a charm. Chaos! Welcome, first-time viewer. Mr. Morgan. And yeah. I am a second-time train robber. For saving my life. Yeah, you already, you already is not my told friend, me about that, Swanson. Mr. Morgan, it really isn't. Don't, don't get all mushy on me. Oh, come on, Swanson! Water under the bridge. Man. Don't worry about it. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. All right, we're gonna go talk to Ch where where is Charles? Wait a second, Charles is he's with hunting. No, we're not hunting. We're going to do the uh the train robber. Well, we'll sleep and see if that triggers it. I'm not sure how to trigger this. It's possible we have to do a mission before the train robbery? I didn't think so. That's true. GTA Online was just it was delayed what? Uh a week. So, it's most likely coming out in November. In fact, I'll practically guarantee it. They want to get those uh, Black Friday sales. Do the Abigail mission, it will probably open up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You have to go to the wagon. Well, I looked at the wagon. Or I looked at the map where the wagon was. I didn't see any sort of uh, waypoint. I would have thought it would have put a waypoint there. Oh, yeah, there it is now. He was just getting ready. Actually, he was probably going to the location. It's nice that there's an in-universe reason for all of that. All right, we're going to fast travel to Emerald Station, and that will bring us where we need to go. When I was frisky, from mm. to well, ain't that something. We gotta, yeah, what do we do now? Go in the forest, I guess. See if we can set up a camp. I don't know if I can set up a camp this close to camp, but we need our horse to fast travel to us. <laughs> we left it in Valentine when we stole that, uh, that tanker. If only I could hop on that train, it would take us straight into town. If I could get there in time, we'd have a chance, come on! Ah, forest! I don't see the- Ah, oh, shit, there's the bush. We're not going to be able to catch up with that thing. I'll well, see if we can camp for the night. Not letting me rest. Let's see if we can rest over here. You can't set up a camp when you're too close to activities, and you cannot set up a camp too close to camp. This might be far enough. Yes, it is. Thank goodness. That's an interesting question. What happened to Dying Light? Last time I streamed Dying Light was a long time ago. Long time ago. Hmm. 
Where's my horse? What if I rest by the fire? I just slept. So we may not be able to sleep again. I'll try it. Welcome, Wade. You missed a lot, actually. We, we broke into a house. We uh, murdered some people. We stole a horse. Shit. All right, well, let's just steal this man's horse and go back to Valentine. We'll lose less honor if you use a lasso. Anyone, <laughs> Kind of scary when you think about it. It was so easy to commit crimes back then, and no one would know. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Where'd that horse go? Ran off in this direction. But I don't see it. Come on. Hell, at this point, it'd be faster if we just ran to town. Yeah. Where'd that thing go? Just go. Any regret? All right, we need to get out of here though because we just hogtied that man for no reason, and I'm pretty sure some people just cut him loose. Hogtying is the best. I love it. It's so much fun. You just hogtie anybody, anywhere. Someone witnesses you committing murder. Hogtie. Or murder him. You've already murdered one person at that point. Someone sees you steal someone. Hog time. Hog time people uh, off of a horse. Throw your lasso around somebody that's riding. Oh, wild horses. Huh. That could have been useful. Well. I shouldn't have ran toward him. That was a mistake. to run out of stamina. There we go. Great. Once you run out of stamina, it starts eating to your core. There it goes. The core is starting to chip away. Oh, man. We're almost to our horse. Once we get to the horse, then we're gonna go and meet uh, John Marston. That's when we're gonna rob the train. Shit. Damn it. It's actually kind of... Realistic, we ran so hard and spent so much energy that we just uh, hit our head and got a concussion. We lost our foot and may as well work on our core as well while we're at it. All right, now our horse is close enough, we can listen to it. Come on, get over here, boy! There he is, this is my horse. It's called Moo Cow. And we're gonna go take a train to Emerald Station. Wow, there's a lot of people riding today, look at this. Four horses, all hitched up at the train station. It's kinda crazy. You can take your horses with you on the train. They had a boxcar dedicated to horses. Kind of like when you uh, drive your car up onto one of those ferries. And of course, they had ferries too, and you could put your horse on those. I'll be tending to you shortly. Farewell on your travels. That's correct. As soon as the horse icon is white, then you can whistle. Sergeant Fox, you are gonna love it. Congratulations, man. It is an excellent game. So a lot of people recommend that you don't really start, you can do whatever you want. And that's what I advocate, but chapter three is truthfully a really good place to start free roaming and just exploring the open world because chapter two is basically a tutorial. 
This game is so big that the entire second chapter is just tr trying to gradually introduce you to all the different concepts and mechanics that they've implemented in Red Dead 2. Moo Cow, what kind of a name is that for a horse? Well, originally it wasn't a name for a horse, it was a name for a, for a kitten that I had. Are you kidding me? My horse is out of wisdom. Oh, that sack of shit! Well, we gotta go meet John on our own without our horse. Tell you what, do they have any horses hitched up over there? No, they don't. Alright. I don't wanna have to do this. Sometimes good men are forced to do bad things. Mister! Hey, over here! We're out of shout range. Come on. Shit. Alright, let's put a mask on for this. What now? Oh, hell! At least we know where the horse went this time. It's a field, shouldn't be too hard to find. So we were hard to this guy in the middle of a road. Oh shit! There's bound to be somebody I'm passing coming. by any second now. Let's get that horse and let's get to John. We got a train to rob. Gotta love this coonskin cap. Where the hell did that horse go? Shit! How is it these things are always impossible to find? See in the trees. Not over here either. Oh my god. Did this thing really escape from us? Where did it go? There's a deer in the trees, but no horse. Alright, I gotta find a stationary horse. Lasso a man and drop him off of a cliff. Wow! Where were you when we were pretending we were a serial killer yesterday? No. Ah, that's what we need. That's hey, what we need. You gotta go. Let's go yeah, you're fast. Don't start shooting at me now. See, these guys at Emerald Ranch, they're a little smarter. You don't shoot your own horse. It's just bad for business. If somebody stole my car, I wouldn't take out a newsie and just spray it. You're doing damage to your own property. Insurance doesn't cover that. What well, if they had insurance back then? Could you yeah. take out insurance in a horse? Probably not. That is certainly that's, that's absurd. You can't take out insurance on a horse. That's ridiculous. People are just riding to hell. Hey. Will you come in with that damn Mexican garbage? Hey, our horse is returning. Yep. Well, where the hell were you? All right, let's make a camp real quick. Unfortunately, my horse, Moo Cow, in all of its infinite consideration, has... No, no, not crap, not crap. Make a camp. Moo Cow took so damn long to get back here that, uh... We had to steal another horse, yep. and as a result of that, we had to commit a crime. And now we can't meet up with John Marston. We gotta make Slow the camp up first. Now. Sleep it off. Shit. Says okay, there's activity boy. nearby, but oh, I don't see God. any activity. Uh, surely this is gonna be far enough. Whoa! Yeah, perfect. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We can meet up with John now. We don't even need to sleep. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is zero hour. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's ride this train! Yeah! 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 All right, boy. 
Now, we're going to be robbing this train a little unconventionally. We're not using dynamite. We're not using, uh, we're not using a tunnel to jump off of. John's thought of something very unique for this. Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Could have said it better myself. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards roads. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John? Secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. 
We handle this right, nobody needs to die. Nobody needs to die. Yeah, okay. We'll just see about that. Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I should really buy a bandana for my raccoon face on my hat. Get up there. Finish up here and join us hey. on board. Go on! Get on there! Faster! All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Did you hear that music? God, that was beautiful. Everybody stay calm and sure. never you get shot. Just put the gun down. I go! Of... Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Why do these? Please, stop! Don't oh, there you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full! I, I don't want to get hurt. I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Beat the passenger. What's the problem here? It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. Please. Money! Oh. Hey! Now! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Not worth your life. Hey, Don't you be a damn me. fool. These two seem to think we're playing games. This man doesn't want to give me anything, me. neither. That seemed to beat on him, though. So far, we've only robbed 126 bucks. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. Ed? God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You boys Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Why are you wasting... Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money. Money. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't oh, make me money now! Son of a bitch! Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Money now! Everything you got. Money Go. me! Money me now! Money! Give! Give money! Money me! I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is this, okay. the chief section? None of you folks! What is it? You alright? Let's be coach. For Christ's sake! You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Oh, hell! Another shooter's leg. No need for this to be lethal. Oh, shit. John was blocking most of my shot. Oh, ah. damn! Oh, ah. oh, oh, well, it just turned lethal. Ah. Get up, you little Irish shit. Get up! I'd rather use the pistols for this. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother. But... Arthur, we've got a problem. Those two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith! Get ready! You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now! There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. 
Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with him. He won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands Nobody up. needs to die here, huh, John? Is that how it is? Unload on those sons of I don't think that's how it is. Come on, on the left. Shit. Keep in mind, the more you shoot, the less accurate you got to be. Come on, come on, come on. Take care how many bullets you use. Take time between your shots. Come on, shot. Keep hell, boy. Some sort of an elixir. Fast. There. Holy shit, that's fun. Come on. Let's make we have five of these boys. It's just a bad rap. Bad mistake. Reverend Morgan's right. We all make mistakes, I guess. Although I seem to have a repeating mistake of driving straight into enemy territory. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. Gotta stop playing this like Rambo. And stop playing it like John Wayne, I guess. I gotta play like the man with no name. Let's go. Come See, on. the man with no name wouldn't take any chances oh, like that. Boy. Let's go. All right, we're right, going. Let's lose him. Yeah. Yeah, I just let him go anywhere. The boy's following me. We split up. I think they're following me. All right, cool. Arthur Morgan's taking the lead. It makes sense. I don't know why I thought that Sean was taking the lead, God forbid. Poor John. Charles, man. Charles is a good man. He can take the lead. But as long as Arthur's <laughs> That's what I get for looking at the chat room for two seconds. God damn it. <laughs> if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto, you recognize what we're doing here. We just got to obey the law and we'll be fine. Now, we don't have any alleyways. So it's going to be a little trickier than that. Great. Lost side of us. Yeah. He's got to lay low for a couple minutes. And be fine. Yeah, leave him. I love, I love Lee. He's my favorite part of the, the, the three dollars more and the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Keep in mind, those three movies, you can watch them in any, any order. They're, they're not, uh... They're standalones, really. You'll have the same actors playing different characters. Lee Van Cleef, he's the uh, villain of the third. Go! Good guy in the second. Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now, what did I get? 
Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Uh, how much would it take? Two hundred dollars. Well, we could have done that a little better, yeah. but what the hell? We had fun with it. That's all that counts when you're an outlaw. Actually, no, money is all that counts when you're an outlaw. That only way. Got a pretty good take. We have $358 now. And we're almost done with chapter two. In any case, that is all the time I have for tonight, but I thank you kindly for joining me for this train heist. And, you know, we did a whole lot more than that. Yeah. One of the highlights for me was robbing that house. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was great. In any case, if you guys enjoyed yourselves, I will be honored if you joined our posse. Subscribe. Leave a like. Anything. But we're going to be riding up uh, just as soon as online comes out. So if you subscribe, please join us online. That's beautiful. There's a single tree on that hill. Anyway, guys, that's enough for me today, but I'm going to be streaming uh, a lot of Red Dead this weekend, and I hope to see you guys again then. But until then, game massively, and happy trails. See you guys again soon. Take care. Come on, come on. Whoa.